The Surfing Violinist presents the Holly Volley One Take. Today, Delhi Six. Though it is a Masala film with a happy ending, Delhi Six succeeds as a cross cultural, creative, and constructive analysis of media and social conflict. Delhi Six is a Masala tragic comedy musical, social commentary with rom com elements. And on that basis, we give it four and a half out of five stars. When comparing Delhi Six to films of similar genres, we'd put it above Crash, the Oscar winning Hollywood film about racial conflict in LA, which is, upon repeated viewings, a Masala film in its own right. I mean, if you think this film feels preachy, go back and watch Crash and that movie won Best Picture. I'd put Delhi Six below People Live because both films have a strong social message about the media, but People Live hits its genre goals more effectively. I'd put Delhi Six on par with Suades, almost. I think Melissa prefers Delhi Six, and in some ways I do too as far as the pacing of the film. Suades just drags at moments, but I think Suades is much more coherent and has a better resolution. Truth be told, Delhi Six is a mess in quite a few areas, but the things it gets right are good enough to level out its failings, for us anyway. When it comes to strengths, the film's music is about as good as film music can be. Almost every song in this movie, from Arzian to Reina Tu to Masakali to Gain the Fool, is just about perfect. Some may argue that the Dil Gira the Fatan sequence is too weird, but as a cross-cultural spectacle, I really liked it even when it gets a little crazily cheesy towards the end. At least the scene adds something to the film other than spectacle, even if the execution is a bit off. And while all of the film didn't shoot in Delhi, it is by far the most authentically Delhi masala film I can think of. This film exudes Delhi even when it is using stand-in locations. So it's no Anko Deki in this department, but it is certainly a breath of frying jalebi steam after the overproduced depictions of Cubby Cushy Cubby Cum and just about every Salman Khan film that supposedly features Delhi. The message is the film's strongest asset and it is not one that is tacked on or cheesy. Maybe the delivery is a bit preachy, I grant that, but using two of the simplest characters in the film to communicate the message is a good move, and the message itself about a community learning how even small personal choices can add up to big community disagreements is one the world really needs to think through, especially in a world with community, political, and religious tensions reaching a boiling point. When it comes to areas of improvement, the rom-com is the weakest part, in my opinion. I don't have a problem with Sonam Kapoor here, this is the best acting I've seen her do, and I really like Abhishek in this film. I really didn't think Abhishek could act until I saw this movie. It's just the chemistry really wasn't there for me, and the way things tie up in the last act almost ruins the movie for me. While I think the third act is really strong in terms of the community conflict, it is the way the resolution is handled that almost ruins it. Again, the love story ties into this quite a bit, and the not quite earned deus ex machina at the end just feels convenient. There's also a muddiness in the narrative that mars the overall impact of the film, I think some cleaner writing and cleaner backstory would have helped the last act come to a more satisfying conclusion. <laughs> On the emoticonometer, we give this film an XD, and when Melissa and I average our rankings together, it comes in first, out of 30th, in our Delhi Film Marathon. What are your thoughts about Delhi 6? Well, we hope you've enjoyed our Bollywood and Delhi Film Marathon. Thanks for sticking it out with us. Check out my IMDb list, linked in the description, to see my own personal favorites list, a list that will be updated as I continue seeing films made in Delhi. We will be expanding the one-take review to other Bollywood films, so stay tuned as we turn our attentions to some of our favorite films from the industry, and if you haven't seen our Bollywood and Delhi edition of American Indian, click on the video on the right to do so. This month's episode of American Indian is all about our family's experience of this year's festival season and has gone live for Patreon supporters of the channel. If you would like to get early access, click the link to our Patreon page. For as little as one US dollar a month, you can get that early access. Until next time, keep watching movies with an open mind and help us find the best of what Indian cinema has to offer.